Zero FXB, welcome back to the channel. USDX orange and blue button version. Let's try and add the GW8 RDI firmware. First thing is take off these silver bolts on both sides, four corners, and pull off the, the buttons. There you go, and the side should just come off, revealing this, and if you turn it round, that will come off as well, and then it just opens up very easily. And you'll note that when you do take it apart, you'll notice that there's loads of spare room in the bottom half for a battery and a speaker, but anyway. So now the board is, pretty, is, is literally wedged into this gap. You do have to push it in a little bit. If you don't, the case won't go back together. This is when you replace, uh, you know, when you put it all back together, it won't fit. So you have to sort of push it in. And it's quite tight, just ease it up slowly. You end up with this board. And what we're gonna do is connect our pins on our Uno to these holes here. Well, you could solder some on there, I suppose. Uh, but I'm just gonna try and poke them in there for now. In the end, I soldered some in, so the pins can be connected too. Next step is to get your Uno board, connect these pins, I'm using these colors because uh, they're the same that I used on my other USDR. And they go from green, yellow, purple, red, black. They go from 10, 11, 12, 13, and ground. So take a good look. And you do have to connect your UNO board to the IDE software and just tell it to be a programmer. Which I'll link in a different video where I show doing that on a different device. So then these, these five wires will then connect to their appropriate locations, which I will show you next. Okay, the wires are connected. Ground is black, mossy is yellow, purple is miso, SCK is the blue. We missed the volt one, and then we're on the reset one, which is green. So zoom in. And uh, that's how it goes on the SDX. So we're gonna run the ID software. We are gonna need a USB cable C connected here. And also we're gonna to need to power the and turn on the USDX for this firmware to go.